Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Robert here with uh, at Never a Dull Moment with Mr. Robert and Howard. And today, we're going to shoot a video of a, a gentleman's operation. His, his name is Kevin, and we're over in Lumberton, Mississippi. And the gentleman has quite an operation over here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to him now, and we're going to walk through. He's going to tell you what he does and what he can do, what he's capable of doing, and just let him give you an overview about his whole operation. So right here we have Mr. Kevin. Morning, I'm Kevin Etrick and I run Pine Built Sawmill. Uh, I'm not the owner, Alan Etrick is the owner. I just operate it for him and we have two sawmills and cut lumber for anybody. We custom cut and we can cut anything you want. All right, we're gonna take a walk around to see some of his cants and a little bit of his operation here. This is our lumber barn here. We store our, when we get excess of logs, we just cut them up in cants and put them under this barn and let them start drying. And whatever anybody wants, we'll pull them out and cut them. And we keep some lumber on hand for sale. As you can see, he's got many different lengths. Yeah, we've got them in here from eight foot to 20 foot long. From six by sixes to uh, probably 16 by 16s. It's all a good grain lumber. We try to keep long leaf and slash. As you can see, some of it's got lighter in it. Good looking cans. <clears throat> Railroad cross ties. Yeah, we we sell those cross ties. It's, we're actually out of the he owns Pine Belt Industry too and they got a junkyard in Columbia. And they tore up a railroad track and they brought the cross ties in to sell. Ten dollars a piece. All right, moving on down. We'll follow this older fella in front of me. I see you. I see you got some poplar down here. Yes, sir. There's a poplar. There's a pile of poplar. It's pretty stuff. That's a. That's a uh, very big one. Yeah, that's probably a. Uh, 14 by 14. Mm-hmm. The fine looking boards you got here. Yeah, that's uh, lumber off some 20 foot cans. When we count them up, we usually take the edge boards and run them in one by or two by according on what we need. Yeah. All right. Just sort of a mixture. <laughs> We're gonna ease over here to the electric <laughs> baker mill and Mr. Kevin's gonna tell us a little bit about it and saw up a, a very large can. Edger here. Yeah, this is the edger. Come tell us about this edger. Yeah, this is a minor edger. It'll do, I think, about a 22 inch wide board, three inches thick. Okay. Got. I think a motor you got over there. That's a 30 horsepower electric motor. 30 horsepower. It does a very good job. Okay. So you, how big of blades is it? Can you, can you show me the blades on that I thing? I believe those are like 12 inch blades. They're up in here, I don't know if you can see them or not. Oh, maybe, yeah, they, they weigh up in there. It's kind of hard to see. That's okay, Howard. I got some hanging there on the hall oh, there. I thought maybe that was it's just right runs on two circle blades. So we just pick our pick out what we want right here and all that changes while the blades are right. running, and right? That'll, that'll change your sizes. We actually put some different notches in for dress size. They, it just came with full size notches. Right, right. You can see the notches in the. Yeah, like our four inch, we'll drop back here. That, that'll cut three and three quarters. And then that gives our green lumber enough room to dry down to three and a half to match the okay. store size. All right. All right, and this is Got a where it runs off of the here. roller system from the mill. Yeah, we, we work it over pretty good. We're going to probably have to shut it down. 
Yeah, this one? Yes. All right, where are we going? We up here at this, uh, this is a Baker model. What's the model number? That's a 3650E. It has a 50 horsepower electric motor. It'll cut a 36 inch log as long as 24 foot and six inches. Okay. Uh, it's a strong hydraulic mill. Those are very good mills. I really like them. And Baker is a very good company to work with. Okay. So whenever you have questions or whatever and you get in touch with Baker, they assist you very well. Yes, sir. They they Johnny on the spot. They got technicians. If you need technical support, they'll they'll help you right there. Okay. And get the parts you need. They they get them real quick to us. We don't have no trouble with them. So what how old is this mill? This mill here is a let's see, the model number right there. I think it's like a 17, yes, a 2017. Okay. I believe it is. Okay. Yeah. You get the model on the front of the mill here. Okay. It's a little dirty. We run it pretty much every day, five days a week. Okay. So it's a it's 50 horsepower. And you have to be a rocket scientist to get up here to figure out all these controls. Yeah, that's... You, you'll get used to it. It's, it's road on it, but we added another lever or two to it. It only had one turner when we got it. Uh-huh. And we added another turner, so okay. it don't match what's rope there, but I, I'm i used to it, so I don't worry about it. I just know which one to grab. Sometimes right. I grab the wrong one. Okay, and this is your uh, hydraulic unit? It is, and this is our computer system part. Okay. <coughs> All right. It's all computerized, so you just mash a button, and tell it what you want to program it in, what you want it to do. That's and it. Bring it back and hit the little lever right there, and it'll go to where you want. Okay. Very nice looking mill. Got a heavy duty looking energy chain system on it over here. Yes, sir. All yes. hydraulic. Yeah, I, I, I really like the hydraulics on this mill. They're fast. Now, when it's cold, you know, they get a little slow, but run it for 30 minutes and it'll heat up and go on. Okay, and it'll cut 20 foot? 24 foot. It'll cut 24 foot. Very heavy duty mill. Mm -hmm. and this is a good, pretty good log up here. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was about a 32 inch log. And we worked it down some already this morning. Okay. We're going to try to cut some one by 22. One by 22 is off of that. Wow. Want to go ahead and fire it up? No, let's walk down here and look at the other mill. And then we'll, and right over here he has his forklift. Uh, look, is that articulating? Does it turn? It is. That's our old John Deere. We couldn't do that. Okay. <laughs> hey, the older the better, right? That's a good old loader, I tell you. We don't have very little problem with it. Of course, he's got a leak or so on it, you know. Probably hadn't run into much that you couldn't pick up with it, had he? Not much, but occasionally we do. Yeah, that's that's the way it is. But we seem to, we seem to get it here with it. Okay. Well, let's walk down here and look at your uh, Baker diesel mill. All right. Yeah, that was actually our first mill. And... We started here without a barn or anything. We were just out in the wide open cutting. He has another really nice shed down here. I'm really impressed with his sheds. He's built them well. They tall, they big enough, they tall enough to be able to maneuver your equipment around in without hitting anything. They're wide enough and they're long enough. They bought, look like they're about 60 by... 40, this one here is a 40 by 120. 40 by 120, okay. Oh, it might be a hundred. I can't remember. It's, it's close to that. All right. I know that one over there is a 40 by 100, and the lumber shed, I know the 40 by 120. Okay. Yeah, there's lumber stacked up here everywhere. Good looking lumber. He has sawed up. Some big cats down there on the other end. <clears throat> and this is his uh, Baker diesel yeah, that's machine. Also a 3060, but it's a D instead of an E. Okay. So, and it's got 
all the bells and whistles on it. Actually, a little more than the electric mill, but it's not computerized. We have a computer for it, but we've never hooked it up. I've, I was noticing on this this mill, it says your blade tension is 1,400, and on the other one, I think it's 1,700. Right. It? Well, that's for the different width blades you go. If you use an inch and a half blade, you can go to 17. Okay. And that's for like an inch and a quarter blade. Okay. But well, we run an inch and a half, and we run it on up to 1,700 pounds. Okay. We got our little drip tanks up there. We had a machine shop make them. We had trouble with the plastic, so we just done away with it. Right. But this mill has sawed a lot of lumber, and it cuts very good. Okay. Well, this is his, this is his diesel mill. It's all the controls and everything looks. It looks just like the other mill over there. Is if this was a, this is a D for diesel and the other one is an E for electric. Yes, so. sir. That's that's what I say it is. But and I see he has his cat K Hill Sawyer Cat Hill thing here. I mm -hmm. see that. I believe I know where that came from. You know, Mr. Steve? I have one of those myself. Okay. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> he brought that here and gave it to him. Mr. Steve's brought a lot of stuff from us. Right, right. Well, thank you, Mr. Steve, for that. You're getting around. And I think this mill here is like a, gosh, it's an 07 model. It's an 07. But still does a very good job. It's like me. It's getting a little age on it, but probably have to do a little tinkering around on it every now and then. But it just keeps on sawing lumber. And this mill is also portable. That's right. I see a trailer system on it. It'll also cut 24 foot long. Okay, 24 foot. Just like the other one, though. You know, the frame's not as heavy because it's portable, but it's got enough of jacks on it to keep it straight. And we'll walk around this way and let's take a look. At, this is a roller system going out with his lumber stacked up in here. Has a slab pile off down here, and there was a couple here a while ago loading a trailer up with slabs and right down here we have some more fine cants stacked up so when the customer comes in and asks for some lumber he could just grab one of these throw it on here and cuts his time down on having to square up a log it's already squared up and he can go with it very nice looking sawmill Okay, we're gonna ease over here to where we had this electric mill, <clears throat> fire it off and cut that big cat up that he has on there. I think he's gonna cut some one by, did you say one by 20 what? Are we gonna cut out of that can over there? We're gonna cut some one by 22s out of it. One by 22s, okay. I tried to get 24s, but it just wasn't quite making. That's what the customer was actually wanting, but we with 24s, I wouldn't have got many out of it. Right. So, he'll be happy with 22. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. He does a little everything here. He sells those railroad ties down there for $10 a piece. And all his sawdust, his machine, blows his sawdust over here in a pile. And he sells that. There was a a truck and trailer here just a moment ago, and I don't know, he must have put 15 or 20 loads on it. And uh, so he sells his sawdust. I guess you give your slabs, your slab pile away down yeah, there. Yeah, we just let people come in and get them for firewood or whatever they want. Okay. And But it's just me and James here today. We'll be a little slow, but we'll get this done. Okay, well, let's, let's fire this thing off and see what it'll do. All righty. <coughs> this, I would kind of watch that blade if they break. They yeah, it'll shoot, shoot out. out. That's right. I've I know to stay away from that.
put Howard to work here this morning. Well, that 22 inch wide cat, that machine is going down through there pretty fast. does not ease into the cat when he puts it on there and drops it down using this computer system over here to get his one inch it goes very impressed with this baker machine That sawdust coming off of that green log sure smells good.
I'd say that's fat lighter. You use a decent fuel for a little bit. Yeah. Big in that log. We found something in this log. Here it is, right here. Ooh. Damn. Not sure what it is. But 16 penny nails. It looks like it's bigger than that. Found a pretty good sized chunk of metal in this log here, in this camp. You can see what it did when we hit that. We hit it on the first, the last cut, but he thought he was gonna try it. But we got into it a little bit deeper. We really, really found it. So I am going to stop right now and see what we're going to do, so. No, it's a nail down yonder. Yeah, it's down yonder. So what are we going to do right now, Mr. Kevin? Well, I'm probably going to just pick that can up and saw a couple of feet off of it, put me a new blade on, and start all over. Oh. That was a, that was the old tree that come out of the middle of a swamp. They said, and that's right in the heart of that tree, and that was up high. I just don't know what it could be. So it come out of a swamp. So what yeah. that's telling me is a long time ago, some some Indian drove a nail I in that tree. So. <laughs> oh, actually, that was the bud of it. I'm sorry. I... Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. Watch watching flip. Well, we gotta we gotta flip this log. Can't yeah, no, we gotta. Take this. We're gonna pull, pull it off. We gotta pick it up with this machine here. And then we gotta saw a couple of feet off of it where that nail was. Put it back up there, put a new blade on the machine, and finish sawing. <laughs> so we're gonna so we're going to stop for right now, uh, cut this off, change the blade, and then we'll start again in a few minutes.